So before we install the cylinder, we want to double check to make sure everything is clocked properly and it doesn't look like it is. Um, so the, uh, the top piston is supposed to be at 12 o'clock and it's kind of like at 11 o'clock. So we're going to clock that a little bit that away. Okay, so yeah, it just probably just moved, you know, that's no big deal. It's probably gonna wind up moving again while it's in there moving around anyway. So okay, so the the uh, the back one is supposed to be at six o'clock and that is pretty much spot on still. So it's like let's see, the gap is right here and that's where it falls. So it's just a little bit at like I would say five thirty or something. We wanna clock it back to six a little bit. Move it a little bit. right around here yeah six o'clock okay now's the hard ones the hard ones are the oil ones um, all right so you want to make sure that your your gap for the the spreader is at 12 and it is it is um, so if you remember correctly this blue mark here is for me the way I install it is on the right of where the slit where they go together it's like so so it's right there smack dab in the middle where the a piston ring is it's got to be at 12 with the a um, okay and then the next one is the the bottom oil rail right here I know it's kind of hard to see it's like it's really let me turn the light down a little bit there we go okay so the bottom oil dealy is right here and that's about 10 o'clock that's where we want it so it's 10 and 2 so the, the bottom one is at 10 and the other one should be at 2 so let's go take a look at that one real quick so that one looks good and this one is at two there it is so we should be good so piss the the piston is ready to uh, receive this the cylinder now all right okay so the pistons installed the rings are all in there and good so now it says now we install the uh, the cylinder um, so now it says to install the dowel pins so the dowel pins are on the block and a new cylinder base gasket all right so so we will take a, where's the cylinder? Cylinder's right, right here. Okay. Got done with, the, done with that uh, oil uh, oil spill. Um, all right, so we're gonna go take this dowel out. It's just, it, in the picture, it shows that it's on the block, so I can't get it out. Yeah. Oh, oops, sorry, I didn't get in video, but I put the, uh, the dowels right here. So there's two right here, right there. Okay, so now the next thing to do is install the piston. The... Okay, I got both gaskets here. Um, one I labeled base on one side, and the other one is a cylinder head. All right, so we'll go get the base one out. I'm be needing right now. Okay. I'm really not sure which way it goes. I'm sure there's only one way it goes, so. Um, Coikies. I think it goes like this, the uh, the bigger side towards that little oil port right there. Actually, you want to clean up that oil port too a little bit. You get a, you get a uh, uh, what's the word? Um, I'm just gonna Q-tip here and clean this little valley here because some crud might. Yes, a lot of crud got in there. So. Okay. Could be. It's probably just the dirty motor oil, you know. All right, so uh, so the big hole is where that there's there's one of them that has a really big hole, and that one should be from the right side of the bike. It's the the upper right, and I think I was right. So upper right, just like this, just like how I have it right now. So we'll go install it like that. I'm just gonna install it dry, I think. Um, okay, so so now we got to take the uh, the chain out though. So there we go. okay, this is I'm just gonna have to get used to this. Uh, so I'm gonna undo the, my little lanyard here. Okay, and then we're gonna go run the chain through the bottom here. Carefully. 
Okay. And then we want to get it over the piston. Um, let me let me just go put this back so I don't have to hold it anymore. Okay. We want to orientate it. to get the piston underneath in the hole. Try not to mess up the gasket. Oops, the, the, the chain just kind of fell in there. I'd imagine this is going to happen a lot of times. Okay, there we go. This looks like a real pain in the ass, dude. Okay, there we go. So you want to make sure you line it up on the, all the dowel marks here. All right. So the next, uh, okay, next time to turn the page. So there we go. These are the dowels, and that's the gasket right there. Page four thirty. What the heck? Uh, the piston ring openings. Okay, yeah, we just did that already. Apply grease to O-rings and install as shown. We have already installed that. A little oil pipe. Apply molybdenum disulfide oil to the cylinder bore and piston surfaces. We're just going to use motor oil and then install the cylinder. Insert the piston ring to the cylinder bore while compressing the piston rings. Install the other removed parts. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Um, all right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go oil this bad boy up. Well, we did put some oil on it before. We're going to go put a lot of oil on it now. Okay, so these are ready for install. Okay, here we go. We're going to go install this bad boy. Um, so if I remember correctly, I think we can do it from here. So the important thing is we got to get the chain through this thing um, without dropping it in the thing. So as you can see, it's well lubed up. You can hear my echo going through it too. Okay, the chain is free. I'm gonna go basically install it just like we installed the gasket, except piston has to go in here so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So I want to try to keep the chain taut. I move my little lanyard through it. Try to not drop the cylinder. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go hook my lanyard back up so I don't lose it. Supposed to be this way, by the way. <laughs> okay, so here's the fun part we gotta put the piston in the cylinder. Ooh. So it should be tapered, so it's sh it, it's designed so it just comes in through the bottom. Why is it so off? Oh, okay, the guide. The guide has to go in the thing. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to compress it. Hopefully it's compressing. I think I just got it in. I think. I can't really stick my fingers in there anymore, so I hope we got it where it's supposed to be.
sure the rings are clocked properly. So I think what I want to do is squeeze it. So close, I have the and almost all the way in there. Okay, there we go. I feel like it's compressed now. I got one set of rings. So you just kind of have to work the rings in slowly. slide in there. Just warm up. There we go. I had to kind of wiggle wiggle it left and right a little bit to get it to seat and it just went right in. So okay now we want to make sure this guide is in here. crossed up Oof. okay no bueno okay so I think the I think this moved a little bit so move this back up and get our clearance again okay I'm trying to get this guide through the little hole here it's been difficult Okay, it was kind of the guide was kind of like pressing on the on the gasket surface. Okay, so now we're gonna lower it, pull up on the chain here, and try to press it down. Okay. 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 I can't really do anything else but press push down on it. You know. I want to make sure the chain is tight. Okay. I can't push on the piston anymore, man. It's just got to keep on going, man. do is hold the hold the crankshaft in place and then try to press down on the on the just on the, on the cylinder okay here we go there we go okay so now we want to line the bottom barrel up to the hole okay there we go let's drive it the rest of the way home Sure, the dowels line up. Oh, there we go. Bam. In place. Okay, so now what we want to do is make sure we get it back on top dead center. You know, they constantly wanted to thing, you know. center there you go it's on there Whew. it's kind of a struggle <laughs> so let me tell you let me just walk you through it again just watch me do it but so what I had to do was uh, basically it's the same thing as the gasket you have to fish the um, I took our lanyard out and we fished it through the hole here for the cam chain and then uh, the hard part was um, 
and then we had to get it orientated right and then the hard part was getting um, everything um, getting the piston rings in for one thing so basically you had to just kind of work it one ring at a time um, if you feel a binding just press on the ring and it'll go in and then and it'll get hung up on the second ring and then just try to squeeze that one too I hope uh, I hope they're still in the same place where they're supposed to be. They should be pretty close. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing we could do about it now. It's in there, um, and then uh, and then yeah, the oil rings would kind of get hung up too. So hopefully hopefully uh, we didn't damage anything putting it in, but I think it's fine. Um, and then and then uh, and then I guess the the rings kind of like uh, they need to be like seated. So what I did was I wiggled the the cylinder head this way a little bit. And then and then it kind of like compressed it the whole ring and then it just went, it just slid down so that's good and then um, and then I had a problem with this the rear chain guide here um, it was in front of the chain this is actually supposed to be on the right side of the chain here um, so I had to kind of get the chain finagle the chain around it and push that back and then get that in the hole and then um, and then yeah. Um, And then that was it. And then we just have to kind of push it down into place, and then kind of watch where the alignment dowels are. So, and then once we got it in there, it just I just pushed more. Oh, so I had to um, I had to use a uh, a wrench to keep the piston from moving up and down because because uh, we had to push down on the cylinder. Um, yeah, it was a pain in the ass, dude. <laughs> um, it's my first time doing it, so I think I did all right. Um, all right, so cylinder installed. All right, here's my guy, and then we put it back to top dead center. You can see the pistons back up there again. So, um, I think that's pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty much where it should be. That's top dead center right there. So um, I may, I may have got the gasket surface oily. Hopefully that doesn't mess any seals up or anything. All right, here's my guy.